Right, I'm doing a video. They've done a little bit more of the barn up by the look of it. Yeah, they've done a bit more of the barn up. Yeah, they were totally demolishing that when I came before. And they've rebuilt it probably with the same stone look. They were like cattle stables, cow stables, or cow sheds when I came last time. As with the other ones over there. And there's still the farmhouse, of course, that hasn't been um, touched yet. It hasn't been touched. So like I say, I'm using a different camera. I've done this before. It's just interesting to see how this will come out, really. two pounds for that I put it in the box for this um, leaflet the story of Whit St Lawrence and a guide to the church by Linda Jenkins and Sandra Redman yeah and they put a bit a bit on there as well look the only problem with living over here I've noticed is there's a horrible smell I think there's a type of sewage works over that way because when I went for a wander on my bike somewhere once I came across it and it done off waft over from um, when the wind's over here it really smells it's really horrible Chelsea are playing tonight Newcastle and we need to win so do they so it's going to be a battle we really need to win to step in the points of the Premier League. We're in the final of the Champions League and the FA Cup. We've got no chance of actually winning this one, but uh, the Premier League, I mean, but we need to qualify for next year. We will qualify automatically if we beat the German lot uh, next week. That's a nice little grave isn't it with the tractor look down there in the sunset that's really nice that is this is um in loving memory of Ch frederick thomas charles mead he died the 8th of february 1991 and ruby kathleen mead died 4th of april 2005 that's a really nice i like that that's really nice very nice that is I ought to actually list all these graves in here, but um, because they do go missing. They look after this place. I'm just practicing this camera today to see how it comes out inside and outside. Inside and out. Of course, um, we've got the chaplains, of course, this one here, connected to the Coleys, the Denmeads, I should say. One there, Edward Chaplin, he died at 85 in 1931, Ellen, his wife. Died in 1899, age 59. Emily, their daughter, died February 1948, age 77. And then we've got some more here. William Chaplin, he died in 1969. Um, one's age 72 and another William Chaplin. Died 1977, age 85. And then there's a Frances Amy Chaplin. She died 1988. Gladys May Chaplin, she died 2010, aged 90. Then we've got the cherished memories of a beloved son of brother 
Gerald Charles Chaplin fell asleep 17th of October 1950, aged 25. So that's them next to each other. Then we've got another one here, which is in loving memory of Alfred, son of Henry and Hannah Chaplin, who died June 12th, 1904, aged 21. Also Freddie, his brother, who died January 24th, 1897, aged 17 months. Also Henry Chaplin, father of the above, who fell asleep May the 9th, 1932, aged 80. Also his wife Hannah Maria, she died June the 21st, 1949, aged 94. It's quite a good picture there, isn't it? Them there. Okay. I'll back go back that way there. It's the back view of them. And we've got that little rockery look. That's got significance that I'll read it in the book. It's in the book. A little bit of that old stonework there. Stonework. We're probably been full circle now, back to the bike. <laughs>